One of our applied areas is medical decision making. We have a new um, center here called the Harding Center for Risk Literacy that focuses on health. Uh, the medical decision making is decision making typically under high uncertainty. And uh, here what we do is we use the results of our study of heuristics, of the ecological rationality, and design expert systems that differ from conventional expert systems, which in medicine are often logistic regressions. Uh, we design expert systems that we call intuitive design. This is a, a structure, a heuristic structure, that corresponds to the way doctors think. And doctors don't think in weighing terms of weighing and adding. That's a logistic regression. One of the first influences we had uh, on uh, the medical community, they used the structure of take the best and designed a tree for heart attack prediction. And the interesting thing is that simplicity in these trees uh, often leads to more accurate predictions of heart attacks than, say, a logistic regression. Why is this the case? Now, um, an, a traditional expert system in medicine, like a logistic regression system, is maybe uh, validated in a group of patients in Boston. But the entire purpose is to use it elsewhere and not to start again. But using it elsewhere is a situation which is in statistical terms not just out of sample prediction but out of population prediction. By definition, you know nothing about this other population and how this relates to this yeah, diagnostic system you developed. In this situation, we need to look for robust systems, not for optimal systems. Because optimization is by definition out of reach. And uh, simplicity, as it's realized in fast and frugal trees, or take the best, is one means to get these robust systems. Here's an example. A man is rushed into a hospital with severe chest pains. The doctors in the emergency room have to make a decision. A coronary care unit or regular bed with telemetry. That's a life and death decision. Because if you have a heart, heart attack, get a heart attack, you want to be in the coronary care unit. If not, you don't want to be there because it's one of the most dangerous places on earth. A friend of mine died in such a situation by getting a virus that he picked up there. So that's the decision. The doctors send about 90% of all patients in this situation into the coronary care unit. This is called defensive decision making because a doctor in the US is likely to be sued if, the, if he sends a person into the regular bed with telemetry and the person dies of a heart attack. The doctor is unlikely to be sued if he sends a person wrongly into the coronary care unit and he dies there from a virus he picked up. So that's called defensive decision making. The doctors protect themselves. Result of defensive decision making is that the costs go up, quality go down, uh, and danger is there for a patient. Then they called in a team from the University of Michigan and they did the usual complex problem, complex solution. This was called the heart disease predictive instrument. It's a, um, you get a, um, a, ch a chart with some 50 probabilities and a pocket calculator in which a logistic regression is programmed and then he's the patient and you push in the right probabilities and then you push enter and you see a number. If it's abo av above a threshold, then coronary care unit, otherwise regular bed. If you ever have worked with doctors, you know, although that was better than the defensive decision making the moment the researchers leave the hospital, it will be end up in the waste paper basket and back towards defen defensive decision making. At this point, the PI of this study contacted me and he heard of our research on heuristics and they found a, th a third way to deal with this problem besides defensive decision-making, logistic regression, and constructed a 
uh, coronary care unit you know, heuristic that basically asks three questions whether there is a uh, anomaly in the ST segment in the electrocardiogram if yes that's the end coronary care unit if no second question or chest pain the primary complaints if no regular bed otherwise a third question is being asked as max now this is a heuristic because it ignores part of the information and it's fast it can be applied much faster in this emergency room it's also frugal because it doesn't use all the information and it's transparent doctors understand it the typical doctor's reaction is oh that's the way i should do it doctors love rules and that's how they are trained and the crucial question is how accurate is it in predicting actual heart attacks and the study that was done is shows that the simple heuristic yeah, makes more accurate predictions as the uh, logistic regression system and here's the puzzling thing yeah? so why is it that we can make better decisions under uncertainty than the standard statistical tool and when is this not the case and that's again the question of ecological rationality but what this example shows and what we have achieved i think is we have made many people in practical situation think about yeah? is that really the best thing i can do what i do wouldn't there be a simpler solution that actually can be better implemented in the case of the doctors it's very clear i mean this hospital this is now more than 10 years ago and the doctors still use the heuristic they have adopted it yeah, to you can much more easier adopt a uh, uh, this what we call a fast and frugal tree than a logistic regression at least for doctors and and they have understood hmm, that there are robust and simple and very effective uh, ways to make decisions